Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. And ten days later, the night after the party fight, some fella from Argentina started popping off about he can whoop me and he'll knock me out in round 11. <laughs> Kind of shook me up because I'm the one doing the talking all the time, you know. <laughs> so he's gonna knock me out in round 11, and he wouldn't do what Quarry did, and and if he hits me, he's gonna knock me out. And so I told my manager, I said, get a contract on him, and we'll <laughs> we'll see what he can do. Gentlemen, we are very happy to uh, announce this morning the consummation of negotiations for this very important. 15 round heavyweight fight between Muhammad Ali and Oscar Bonavina, which we have scheduled for Madison Square Garden on the night of Monday, December the 7th. Muhammad uh, Ali, uh, what do you think of this fight with Bonavina? Uh, I think that it'll be much rougher than Jerry Quarry, much rougher than George Chevallo, much rougher than Carl Miltenberger and Zoe Foley. Why? Why do you say that? Because he whooped all of them. He whooped Carl Miltenberger, he whooped George Chevallo, he whooped Leotis Martin, the last fellow to beat Liston, a good, fast boxer, and he also defeated um, Zoe Foley. Well, right now, Oscar is in the best condition I've ever seen him in. Uh, since I've been working with him, I've learned to appreciate him more than I did before. He is what you call an awkwardly cute fighter. Uh, he's not as easy to hit as it, it seems, as his record shows. He's never been knocked out. He went 25 rounds with Joe Frazier. And believe me, if I managed Clay, I would never have taken Oscar Bonavena as an opponent at this stage of the game. I think it's a dangerous fight for Clay. Did you see the last fight, the Quarry-Clay uh, fight? <laughs> Quarry, not good. Quarry, no heart. No heart? No. So you think that you you can uh, do a lot better than Quarry? Sure. Hundred Quarry. Hundred Quarry. Do you think that Clay is going to cut you? <coughs> seven, you look. Day seven, December, you look. Maybe no. I used to strong. You're too strong. Yes, I used to strong. See? <laughs> it's too much. Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get so strong? Watch. Steak. Milk. Have you ever been knocked out? No, I never not come out. Nobody not come out me. And you don't think it's going to happen this time? No. Right. You'll knock out Clay? Yes, why not? Who is it, Superman? What were you attempting to do in your sparring? Just in fighting. I'm not going to be doing too much moving in this fight. This fight will be, there'll be a lot of, I might be 70% just flat-footed. <laughs> just uh, waiting for him. He's not fast at all. I, I get on my bicycle when I'm meeting a good fast man. Now nine because it'll take three or four rounds to fill him out. Not about a round, two rounds to fill him out. And then t tag him in the third and fourth round, shake him up a little. <laughs> and uh, float about the fifth round, just stick him and move. And sixth round, tag him, make sure he's still shook up. <laughs> Seventh round, you know, talk to him. You know, tell him, you know, I got a few things. I tell him when I'm whooping him. <laughs> then after I'm whooping him and talking to him, um, about the eighth round, tag him again. Sure let him know he's got one more round to go. <laughs> then in the ninth round, he shall be mine in round nine. <laughs> Mr. He said to me, both in great shape. Why you not go with the army? Say that one more time. Vocally as well as physically. Why yes, yes, you not go with the army? <laughs> Why you not go with the army? I will tell you Monday night in the first clinch. Ah, uh, chicken, you be chicken. Okay. Beep, 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 chicken, beep. Good no, deal. Keep go talking. Chicken. Keep, Keep beep, talking. Beep, beep, beep. Now I know you're going to get a whooping. No, I'm going to punish you. Monday no, night, he's going to have to back it up. Monday night, Madison Square Garden will be sold out. Creators throughout the world will be sold out. He will have to fight. And he's putting himself on a big spot.
because a man who talks this much and can lose, it sets him back a long way. I've never lost. It's too much to nerve you. I don't know what happened. Why do you nerve you? too nervous, it says. Relax, my friend. Relax. Take it easy, baby. Okay, okay. <laughs> Pull him away. I might get him now. I'm, sick. I'm getting angry. Don't get it. Okay. I'll get him now. Did you cut your hair? Okay, go ahead. Did you cut your hair? Go ahead. I'll cut your hair. You punch me now. He never should have started talking. Not with Muhammad Ali. Oh, Molly. Clay, Clay. Uh, you Clay? I said Muhammad Ali. Clay? We, I will, you will call it when the fight comes on. Clay? Wait till the fight comes Clay? on. <laughs> Please tell everybody to get to your theaters. I've never had a man that I wanted to whoop so bad. <laughs> I want the whole world to hear round nine, you will be mine. Nine. <laughs> Maybe you cut them seven down. No. <laughs> You will not land the punch. Back off now. I don't want to think that about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one round that I'm going to do. In what round do you think you're going to finish? He will be shamed to show his face in Argentina after this fight. <laughs> 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 All right, finish that. Finish my right, there. Now we want this. Uh, all right, Stills, let's have. Let's give the TV that. Don't you get the McFist though? Oh. 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 All right, let's give the. Let's give the. Uh, <laughs> let's give the. Uh, <laughs> crowd roars now as Muhammad Ali comes down the aisle. A man who has evoked all kinds of passion against and for. The whole history written now. April 28, 1967, Houston, Texas refused military induction in the courts ever since. <laughs> Ali, for those of you watching in the red robe, Bonavina in what might best be called an aqua robe, Ali, who knows that he's got a lot to prove. The crowd reacts as he shows that swiftness of hands that was the inevitable yardstick of the event. Is Bonavina really a testing opponent, in spite of what Yancey and I have said? Or will he be a soft touch for Ali? Next question. How much of what once he was is he now? How much does he have left from the obviously great fighter that he was four years ago? How much in the way of speed? And how much in the way of stamina? Jerry Quarry, the cut eye, it went only three rounds. And so, some still find Ali suspect in terms of stamina. Certainly, this fight should answer that since Bonavina is so tough to knock out. Ali has said he'll do him in nine. In nine, he'll be mine. Well, he used to be accurate with his prognostications. But whether or not that accuracy still obtains is another matter to be determined. As we look at Ali, and if we can get down to his shoes, you'll find a new twist tonight. He is wearing red tassels on his shoes. And should he employ the Ali shuffle, see them there? Should he employ the Ali shuffle, it'll be a very interesting vision to see. Now, Johnny Addy with the announcement. Assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Joe Eppy and Jack Gordon. The timekeeper, Fred Abatello. Counting for the knockdowns, referee Zach Clayton. Referee for the main event, Mark Kahn. Mark Kahn, perhaps the most veteran referee in point of service assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. Very few people have quarreled in the past with Khan as a referee. He has a disposition, by the way, to let a fight go on. He's not quick to stop a fight when a fighter is damaged. Now let's see when the two come up for the ring instructions from the referee, if they talk. Because today, before the weigh-in, Ed Dooley, the chairman of the New York State Athletic Commission, said, any reprehensible talk, any invective, Ladies any abuse, $5,000 fine against each fight. Round. Introducing... From South America, 
He's wearing blue trunks. He weighs 204. The heavyweight champion of South America, Oscar Ringo Bonavena. His opponent from Louisville, Kentucky, he's wearing red trunks. He weighs 212 pounds. Return of the champion, Muhammad Ali. There's the familiar shuffle step. Main event, 15 miles. And in this arena, at least at this moment, he returns a popular man. But that's in this arena. We have nearly 19,000 people here tonight. Big, big crowd for what Johnny Addy just called the return of the champion. Let's listen to Mark Cunt. Instructions of the New York State Athletic Commission. Let's listen. There he is talking. Do not hold with one hand and hit with the other. Is that clear? When I see you left in a clinch, I tell you to break. All he can say, based upon the commissioner's ruling today, is you're in for a tough night. I'm going to beat you up good. I'm going to whoop you. I'm going to cut you up. If he deviated from that, he's subject to a $5,000 fine. Start of round one. Watch Ali as he circled steadily to the left. Watch Bonavina try and cut the ring on him. Right in half, going right at him. He'll work hard to Ali's midsection if he can. Ali will use the left jabs, counting on the swiftness. A warning from Mark Khan. Here's a brawler, Bonavina. Occasionally, under strategies taught to him by Clancy, he'll try to retreat to a corner, lure Ali in, and then go right to that midsection, if he can. Ringo claiming that Ali shoved him down. Ringo in the blue trunks with the red waistband, Ali in the red trunks with the white waistband and white side trim. You see Ringo's name on his pants. We're coming up to the two minute mark in round one. to Bonavina is connected on Ali's right jaw. This is not picture fighting such as Ali is used to. It's not easy against Bonavina. Look at that. This is like an alley brawl as far as Oscar's concerned. Twenty seconds to go in the first round. And no sign yet of the Ali skills, really, against this kind of fight. The old Ali skills. Another warning from Mark Dunn and a stern. The end of round one. Yank Durham. As we go to Bonavina's corner with the crowd yelling. 
for and against Oscar and for his tactics in that first round. Your view of it, if you will, Yank. Well, I think Bonavina got the best of play there in exchange. He came out moving around, but Clay, he definitely don't have what he had before. I can see that now. It's no problem in my mind that it'd be an easy fight for me. And uh, Clay is in for a, a rough night. They both are using tactics. They're a little rough tactic there. Clay is pushing and shoving. Yank, let's watch this in slow motion. We're going to see the slip. There it he is. Pushed him. That's when Ringo got up and claimed that Ali pushed him down. But there's no doubt in my mind. live action. You felt he pushed him down. He did push him down. Yeah, that was a push. You're not guilty of bias because you're afraid you No, it isn't that. I actually saw the push there. All right. We are eight. await the start of round two. Now let's see if Ali can get some of that old Ali movement in as we start round two. Worst fight I ever saw Bonavina fight, and it was made that way for him by Jimmy Ellis, was against Jimmy Ellis in early December of 1967 during the WBA Elimination Tournament when Ellis floored him twice. Bonavina was very effective against Mildenberger, the German southpaw, over in Frankfurt, West Germany. is in the center of that ring. He's cutting the ring on Ali. And oddly, I don't see Ali circling with the steadiness and swiftness to the left that's his usual landmark. Surprising absence of movement in Ali. Up to this point, the fight is very young. Nancy Durham is keeping an unofficial scorecard on the fight for this reporter as he views it. Yank, of course, Frazier's manager sitting next to me at ringside. This fight has been taking place largely in ring center, and this is not the uh, usual Ali style at all, as it used to exist, and even as it was when he came out so swiftly in round one against Jerry Quarry in Atlanta, Georgia, some six weeks ago. down toward the end of round two. Nothing real in the way of action as you have seen with the edge in this round I would suspect going to Ali. Bonavina not throwing much luck. End of round two, let's follow Muhammad Ali to his corner. Very, very odd so far, it seems to me. Yancey Durham, as we look at Muhammad in his corner, how do you account for the relative absence of movement and swiftness so far? Well, as I said, if a Bonavina crowd, Clay, Clay doesn't have the movement, he knows he's in there for a tough fight, and Bonavina is fighting a fight that I thought he would fight. He just need to pick up his speed a little bit more, and I think Clay's going to be in serious trouble standing still like he is. He's not impressed tonight at all with his moving, and he's afraid to move because Clay's beginning to he's worried a little bit. Well, let's watch this. So we're watching in slow motion now, and as Muhammad comes over, a wave of disgust with Bonavina, apparently, or maybe with himself, as that round ended. We're close to the start of round three. Looking at Oscar as he comes out to face Ali. You'll 
It'll be nine and mine, I'll ease them. Well, we'll see. Stick it! Stick it where you are! Stick it where you are! Stick it where you are! Stick it! Perhaps you hear Drew Brown Bundini, one of the retinue in Ali's corner, yelling, stick him, stick him, stick him, Charlie, meaning, of course, keep that left out there while you're boxing. Again, the astonishing thing here is the relative absence of movement. Apparently, another push by Ali against Bonavina. Ah, good combination. The left and then the right. Ah, opening up a bit. Bonavina trying to get to the inside always, as you can see, seeking to maul and draw. Good combination. This is the first sign of Muhammad Ali, as we used to know him. The quick hands in there again. Four combinations in this round all connected. Left and the right, the straight, sharp right. Bonavina, I repeat, does not cut easily. Saw Ali just throw his right hand up, almost, I suspect, in his mind, in contempt. But one can't truly read his mind. Again, the clock winds down toward the end of round three. The first round in which there's been any real punch by Muhammad Ali. fighting in the classical sense and we're not going to disguise it. A left by Bonavina. <laughs> and Ali says to him as the round ends, come on. Now Clancy is yelling to referee Mark Khan, claiming that Ali was hitting illegally behind the head, behind the ear. In the meantime, in the wake of what Ali did in that third round, Yancey, when he had those four quick combinations that stung Bonavina, I have to wonder, is he laying back? Is he toying with him? What's your view? I don't think he's toying with Bonavini. He's trying to fight, figure out what Bonavini is doing. And Bonavini is fighting right. The play is a little rough. He's pushing the guy, which he shouldn't be doing. The referee should warn clear about pushing the guy. Also, uh, uh, they should warn Bonavini, hit him a couple of low blows there. Play is not apt to talk as much as he say he was going to talk. But he got off some very good combinations. All right. We were just over in Bonavini's corner. There's the... Warning signal, 10 seconds for round four. And round four. Ali in the red trunks, white trim. Ringo in the blue trunks, red trim. Name emblazoned on the trunks. Ringo, Hardly a throwback to the wild bull of the pampas, Louis Firpo in the 20s in terms of style, but still a powerful, powerful man. He's coming after Ali now. Jab all night long, Drew Brown Bodini just said. No words from Angelo Dundee in Ali's corner. Bonavina messing with the left, 
Duct as Ali Duct. Cumbersome, ponderous, but the aggressor. And where is that Ali movement? Ali holding on. Where is that circling? Where is that boxing? Where is the speed of hands? One wonders if Ali is hurt. like what's happening and I don't think he's clowning or faking. Now this is hard to tell when you've been around the man as long as I have. But one thing is sure, he hasn't looked this badly since he fought Mildenberger in Frankfurt when he had troubles with a southpaw. Strange thing to see, ladies and gentlemen. You've not seen Ali like this before. The end of round four. Let's, we're on Ali now. We're trying to see if anything is wrong with him. I'll tell you, Dundee's concerned. Come on, he's saying. Fight! All right, here's the first Bonavina punch in slow motion. Watch this. No, in truth, we didn't see too much there, but now coming back, I get the feeling that Ali's forehead, I saw them working on it during the between rounds period, has been scruffed up quite a bit. Now let's see if he engenders any movement. Quickly, Bonavina, Adam. Bouncing a little, moving a little more. In some ways, this is a reminder of the fight in Toronto in 66 when Shabala went 15 rounds with Ali. Boring in on him, roughing him, scruffing him. But always, Ali was in command in that fight. I think a test of Ali's stamina tonight, that's for sure. You saw Ali in the corner. Put his fists up above his head, his gloves. We've got a minute to go in this, the fifth round. Ali in the red trunks, another warning from Mark on the Bonavina. He kind of laughs derisively and disgustedly at the same time. I 
don't know what's wrong here based upon what people expected, but Ali simply does not look good, even if he's ahead on points. Well, he predicted the ninth round. Maybe that's his ploy, but he's going to have to prove it. And the way Bonavina, with that awkward style, with that great strength, is pushing him around this ring. I don't know. Let's watch. That's the end of round five. Yancey, your appraisal of this fight up thus far. Well, up at this present time, I mean, I'm a little afraid for Clay because Bonavina is going to get strong. Will Clay pick up any speed here? What is he doing? His diaphragm, I see he's breathing pretty hard over there. I don't think Clay can stand this pace. All right, Yancey, we'll watch. Meantime, I'm hopeful that coming up in slow motion, we can have that missed wild punch by Oscar. It's another index to the unorthodox style he has, and yet you always have to worry about it. And he seems impervious to punishment himself. Although Ali, except for the third round, hasn't been doing much punishing. Well, you saw it there, the missed punch. Now we're back live. Clancy talking to Bonavina. Through all the years, Clancy has had a very great respect for Ali as a fighter, but has always felt that there was a way to fight him, and has always felt that Bonavina was the way. Now you see Ali dancing. Crowd here tonight, 19,000. Oh! You saw that! That left! And that landed! This is a now wary Ali, you better believe. 19,417 people here tonight, paying $615,401. Buy the house. For the return of the now deposed champion. Up in Monticello, New York, Joe Frazier is watching this fight. Up to this point, there has to be, if he's human, a kind of grin on his face. He had his own troubles with Bonavina. but Bonavina got him in the corner. Did no damage, but still pursued him in corner. Ali fought his way out. A left by Ali. Well, you hear the crowd picking up the chant for Ringo now. And I have just talked with Angie Dundee, and he indicates he doesn't know what's going on in that ring. He doesn't know what's wrong with his fighter. is the sixth round. It's almost over. And Bonavina hasn't been taught a lesson yet, that's for sure. A left by Oscar. And Ali is backing off, moving away. Now holding on. And the clock is running out for round six. There it is. And a seemingly tired Ali goes back to his corner. Yancey, if you had to score this fight up to now, now you're looking at Oscar, whom would you have ahead? Well, at the present time, I got Clay ahead, but Oscar's coming on strong. You do have Ali ahead. I have him ahead. 
But uh, I think I have a play of three, one evening, and two with Bonavina. Bonavina applying the pressure. He's got to whip Clay. I can't see any other way. Clay got to get over. I was lucky. The words of Yancey Durham, our ringside compatriot, the manager of Joe Frazier. You see Ali talking back to Angie, who has already confessed that he doesn't really know what's happening in there with his fighter. Now let's look at this in slow motion where Bonavina comes in with a good one. There it is. That one connected. All right, rounds. Round seven. thing to look for is movement in Ali, unless he can find movement and withstand the Argentinian's rushes. You saw a left to Bonavina's face there. Mundini is screaming from his corner, almost pleadingly, the heavy bag, calling Bonavina the heavy bag, punching like he's a heavy bag. Ladies and gentlemen, only in the third round of this fight did we see evidences of the Muhammad Ali that used to be. Four times he struck with rapid combinations. He did no material damage, but the swiftness of the hands was there. Apart from that, even if he is ahead in the scoring at the moment, which is possible, he has been but the palest replica of the great fighter of four years ago. scoring points in this round. That too is evident. Keep moving. That blazed and really missed that left by Bonavina. <laughs> round seven, about to run out. Ali. Must put him away in nine to make his prediction stick as round seven ends. Now Ali is the recipient of boos from the crowd that cheered him as he entered the ring tonight. He sits in his corner, now over to Ringo, who indeed appears livelier. Yancey Durham. I think we'd have to agree Ali scored on points in that round. Yes, he did a wonderful job there, but you can still see that Clay is down on his feet now, on his heel, and uh, Bonavina is going to get to him a little faster now. Clay is not up on his toes like he used to be. And definitely, he was in the very round, he was up on his toe, but now I can see that he's coming down flat. The bell for round eight, Mark Kahn, the referee. Ringo in the blue with his name on his pants, Ali in the red. This was the fight where Ali was going to keep talking to Ringo throughout the fight and telling him what he was going to do to him. 
But there has been no talking. And the reason is clear. Now Ringo comes out and strong. Of course, the commissioner ordered no talk in terms of invective, personal abuse. But Ali, the commissioner said, could tell him what he wanted to tell him. I'm going to whoop you, I'm going to beat you. But there's been none of that. Nor have we seen the Ali shuffle with the tassels. There is a little blood from Bonavina's right nostril. The quick left apparently opened it. Nobody will ever take boxing lessons from Bonavina, but I'll tell you, he's tough. We're in round eight. We're a little past a minute and a half into round eight. Round nine was supposed to be the culminating round. Unless Ali has been holding back all fight long, it doesn't seem remotely possible. You got to stay above his feet. You got to dance a little bit. Stick it out, stick it out. Dance a little bit. Come on, tell me I was there. Ali has fought 30 times, won 24 by knockouts, professionally that has never been beaten. Onavina, 46 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw. We're coming to the end of round 8. There's little action in this round. That's a good left. Good left by Bonavina as round eight ended. And we go back to Ali's corner. He seems a tired man. There's his record spelled out for you, as just stated. Dundee slapping his thighs. Now they're working on his stomach. Now let's watch that last blow of Bonavina's in slow motion. There's a right that was being to the back of the head and there's the left. That's the one that got in there. All right, Yancey, this is the prediction round. Do you see any hope? No, I do not, Howell. I don't see no way in the world he could be able to stop Bonavina in the ninth round. Uh, he does not have the power there. Bonavina's getting strong and he can play his team again weak. But the crowd is alive. They know about the prediction. Now they want to see if he can make it stiff. Stick, if he's been holding back. <laughs> slip, slip, no knockdown, slip. Mark Khan right on it. Crowd misled, don't you viewers be misled. Push it. A 
Left by Bonavina and it connected, believe me. There it is. Bonavina holding on. Crowd alive for a change. And what has been a most sluggish performance by Muhammad Ali. Bonavina holding on. A minute 45 gone in round nine. Crowd exhorting Ali on. Bonavina fighting back. Ali raining punches upon him. One minute left. No, no knockdown, no knockdown, no knockdown. Slip and a push by Ali. Now the two are going at it. 45 seconds left. Bonavina staggering, flying a left at Ali. The eye is cut. There's blood out of the left eye of Bonavina. Ali trying to make his prediction stick. He's chopping at him with the left. A good left by Bonavina in retaliation. Ali holding on, Ali tired. 20 seconds left in round nine, and Bonavina's gonna last this round. Bonavina coming into Ali. A tough, tough fighter, Oscar Bonavina. As the round ends, and the prediction fails. He got born to be the very strong fighter, and he hurt Clay the last part of that round. He certainly did. A remarkable comeback because Bonavino was in real trouble, you he must admit. He was in serious trouble there. Here's but the playback on that right now, Yancey. Take a look at it. That was the slip and push combined. Mark Khan rightfully said, no knockdown. Now you see Ali raining punches at Bonavino, but watch this. There it is. Oh, That's good. the left that turned it around in the final 40 seconds of the round that brought Bonavina back to life. That forestalled the prediction of a ninth round knockout. A warning signal as we continue to watch. Now we're back to live action. And this crowd has come alive. Round 10. Rising fight, ladies and gentlemen, to most people. Muhammad Ali, a six to one favorite. The memories of four years ago vivid. The quickness, especially in the first round against Jerry Quarry in Atlanta, vivid. But not generally speaking on display tonight. A desperate effort to knock Bonavina out in round nine, the prediction round. Close to success, apparently. And then suddenly, with 40 seconds left, Bonavina scored and became the aggressor. This then is round 10. I want to call you in, Yancey, as we watch the action. Yancey Durham, Joe Frazier's manager. At this moment, you change your prediction. Do you think I'll leave a win or Bonavina? Well, I still think Clay's a little ahead, but it's pretty close at this point, Howard. And if uh, Clay doesn't watch himself, Bonavina's getting much stronger, and he might upset Clay very much. But I give Clay a little edge right now at this point. Right lead by Ali, left, fight is right above us. Effective tactic, steadily by Bonavina. He's in a crouch, almost on the floor. We're coming up to one minute left in round 10, and then suddenly he leaps up at Ali, and sooner or later connects with one of those wild left hooks, and they hurt from a man so strong. Where is the old head slipping of punches? Where is the backup with the stomach apparently exposed, but not there? 
Where is that movement? Around and around, always to the left. A rapier-like left jab. You saw two lefts then by Ali, but hardly of the old stamp. This is not to derogate him in any sense. The man's been away for four years. The miracle was that he came back so quickly and lost so much weight so quickly. Any student of boxing must be aware of these facts. Any athlete away four years, and this is not to make excuses for him, either, has to have lost something, it seems to this report. That's the end of round 10. We look at Ali in his corner. Angie Dundee above him. One must wonder, Yancey, Yancey Durham, is Muhammad now thinking as we look over at Ringo in his corner? Is Ali thinking now about the crowd, the publicity, the people, the prediction, the failure to execute the prediction? Well, he had missed this prediction, and no doubt in my mind, he's a world fight at this point. And uh, he's trying to figure out what can he do to stop Bonavina. Bonavina backed away from him, gave him a chance to come after him. He couldn't take advantage of that. Then Bonavina started chasing him again. And all, all Bonavina have to do now is start to keep applying the pressure for the next five rounds. All right, let's see if Bonavina can do that. This is Bonavina's prediction round. He said he'll knock out Ali in round 11. been cut in half all night by Bonavina. Right in the middle. I don't know whether it's Bonavina's awkward style. Crowd's misled there. Those punches were not landed upon Ali. They hit the glove and the shoulder. No damage there. That right hit! Bonavina got in a good right to the left jaw of Muhammad Ali. Minute and a half. Even though Ali has been away for so long, this has to be an embarrassment to him. He knows that his former sparring partner, Jimmy Ellis, fought his best fight against Oscar, cleanly won the decision against him in Louisville, floored Oscar twice, once in the fourth and once in the tenth round, as I remember it. Look at that. Did you see Oscar try and start to bring his right arm up? Oh, a good right by Ali. After a quick short left, a good right. Oh, the left, the right, the left, and again the right. Ali holding on a bevy of blows by Bonavina. Bonavina coming on. 40 seconds left, and the countdown begins for round 11. That left did not hurt. It reached but did not hurt. That left of Ali's was against Bonavina. Another left by Bonavina, but that one didn't really hit either. There is blood out of Bonavina's left nostril. The round is running out. Ali appears to be the tired one. And that's the end of round 11. Yancey Durham come in here as again we go to Ali's corner with Bundini now actually pleading with Ali. Ray has a tired fight at this point. And as I told you before, Bonavino will get stronger. And uh, that is exactly what he's doing. 
players are worried about it. They're doing everything they can to survive this fight. And I don't know if he will be continue, able to continue this fight the way he's looking now. His mouth is open. His, his diaphragm is rather hard here. And they're doing everything they possibly can to survive this fight. And I think you state the fact. An astonishing turn of events here tonight. Six to one underdog. Supposedly too slow, too clumsy. Supposedly a sitting duck. For Muhammad Ali has been anything but. It is a close, tough fight. I still rate it close in the scoring. I take it you do, Yancey, of course. Yes, it's very close at this point. Round 12. And Oscar comes out strongly. Well, Ringo's in the same boat now as Ali in one sense. His prediction failed too. He had said round 11. Ali had said round 9. Khan, the referee, breaking the fighters. Steady veteran referee in good control of this fight tonight. Quick to call the slips, you'll remember. Quick to issue warnings on low punches and pushes. Always keeps his position on the fighters, which is the key thing, so no undue damage can come to either fighter. A $10 million gate in the offer, or gross, that is, for an Ali Frazier fight. Frazier's manager sitting next to this reporter. Frazier watching on television in Monticello. I wonder what impact what we're seeing now will have on that projected contest. can't make out, frankly, what the crowd is yelling in the background. We're coming up to the two-minute mark in round 12. Schedule 15-rounder, as you know. Ali, Red Trunks, Onavina Blue. Action lagging in this round. No, no, don't get excited about that first left of Oscars. Did nothing. Nor did the second. Nor did that one. Missed. Drew Brown Bundini's voice in the background. Giving Ali the Sugar Ray comparison. Ali is hanging on as the round ends. Round 12 is over. Ringo had lost his mouthpiece, as you saw. And the crowd is restive. Some of them booing Muhammad. There's Ringo in his corner. He's putting up some fight. The question, one would think, for all of the people is, and this was the question we posed, Yancey, you'll remember at the start of the fight. How much of Ali is there now of the fighter that once there was? How much could there be after four years? How much would have to go out of it? Well, Howard, the guy has fought, he's fighting a real tough guy. This is a real animal he's in there with. And uh, this fight here is actually proven just what Cassius play have. As I predict, it would be a hell of a fight. On Avina on his feet before the round even starts to show Ali what his strength is. Ali's still on his stool up now, as you just saw. But Bonavina exuding a physical confidence that must be apparent to Ali. Just an astonishing fight, really. Birthday 
Not a classical fight in the sense of fistic greatness, but astonishing in the trend of events. One would have to believe that Ali is ahead in the scoring of this fight. But one cannot say that he has been impressed. Gotta get vicious, that's Bundini, and the other words you may be hearing in the background, birthday, Sugar Ray. Ali often called a heavyweight Sugar Ray in the old days. We're coming up to the two minute mark in this round. It's round 13, and wearily the rounds run out. Birthday, Sugar Ray! I want to stress again how much of this fight has been fought in ring center. How relatively stationary as this round runs out, the seconds tick away, Ali has been. All right, end of round 13, let's go to Muhammad's corner. Now the crowd has really turned on him. not used to this. Now in slow-mo, let's watch Oscar as he seeks to score against Muhammad. There's a left and right goes into Muhammad. That one, as you can see, did not really connect. There's a left and Muhammad seeking to hold on, which he has done reasonably often as you've noticed. Can't see as we await the start of round 14. How have you got the fight scored? Well, I still have him ahead. I give Gray ahead of Bonaby. He's got one round ahead of Bonaby at this point. One round ahead in this, at this point in your, right. your scoring. All right. Can't see Durham scoring has Ali one round ahead. Strictly unofficial, you understand. Two judges and referee Mark Dunn will be doing the voting on a rounds basis. With a supplemental point scoring system, should rounds be even. Become insistent here at Madison Square Garden as we're a minute and 
just about 15 seconds into round 14. The world is watching you. The world is watching you. I guess you can still hear Drew Brown Bundini. As you could see, there was no trace of a knockdown there, anything of the sort. Well, he is holding more and more often, really. He's trying with everything he's got. Everybody will have to assess after this fight for themselves is what the lost years have taken from them. And yet one can take no credit away from Oscar Ringo Bonavina. A tough cookie who gave Joe Frazier his two toughest fights. Well, less than a half minute to the end of this round. Round 14, and in the relative absence of action, the attitude of the viewers here in Madison Square Garden, I think, can be plainly heard. So round 14 ends. Now the dissatisfaction of the crowd becomes the paramount noise here in the arena and story, I guess, because it bespeaks the way this fight has gone. Yancey Durham, come in if you will. Let's review your score. Well, Howard, I mean, uh, I still have him ahead in points, but if Bonavina can win this round, it'll be a very tough fight to judge. All right. Now, Bonavina. if Ali should win this fight by a decision, Yancey? Will his performance tonight affect a potential fight against your man, Frazier? No. Howard, I think this is the fight that the public want to see, and I'm glad to see him, if he wins this fight, go to 15 round. I think it'll put him in good condition, and I hope that we can get together with this fight. February? I hope we can get together in February. All right, Yancey Durham, Joe Frazier's manager. Last scheduled round. Round 15. If Ali gets the decision, it'll be interesting to hear what he has to say in ring center after the bout. He showed signs of becoming the old clay in the past week with the prediction, with the rhyme. So Oscar at his wildest there, missing, falling off balance, but there was no Ali to take advantage of. There was no speed left, there was no, no movement left. Jump in and take advantage of an off balance, unprotected man. seconds into the final round. One thirty left in the fight. Oh, that left floored him. It came from nowhere. Ali came through with a left. The crowd screaming. The first knockdown of the fight. He took the mandatory eight. And now Ali is behaving like the old Ali. One more knockdown in this round. The fight is automatically over. Bonavina is running. If he goes down again, it's over. Ali is the knockout winner at two minutes and three seconds by my unofficial clock of the final round. It began with a left. 
I'm going up to ring center. I'm here in the corner of the ring with Angelo Dundee, Drew Brown Bundini hugging Muhammad Ali and a tired but victorious Ali talking. Muhammad, could I get you to just face that camera? Now first, wait, you found Bonavina much tougher than you expected, obviously, didn't yes, you? Uh, the layoff bothered me. Uh, I showed up, I missed a lot of punches, but I'm glad it went 15, the word was I didn't have no stamina. I think I showed more than he did. And Joe Frazier couldn't stop him. He was really out. And uh, now we have a chance to see who the real champion of the world is. So uh, I'm feeling good and I'm glad that I had the work. And I'm glad to know that I have a punch. As they say, I don't have. And I think he's never been stopped, right? Never been stopped. Yippee. No, he had never been knocked down until this fight. But in truth, I want to bring in Angie. <coughs> Angie, you didn't know what was wrong with Muhammad Midway. There was nothing wrong with him. He needed to work. That's why I said I hope we'd have had a few more rounds with Quarry. So he got the work tonight, which is beautiful. So he got a little wet tonight, which is great. So I was very happy with everything. All right. Muhammad, you know that you're a slower fighter tonight, don't you? What you say? You know that you didn't have the old speed tonight. Do you feel you know, it was just to set you up for the Frazier I'd like fight? to say I don't have no marks. Joe Frazier's face uh, was a little more marked than mine. Uh, I never really, I got tagged once. I found out that I could take a punch as they say I All didn't. Right. Muhammad, I want you to look at that monitor right down there. We're going to rerun this knockout round. The 15th round. Watch this. Say, you call it. I want to say first, Howard that I must give praise and thanks to Almighty God, Allah, because uh, he was a little better than I thought he was. He was on me. Uh, now, as you see, I hit him with a left hook. If we watch it, we'll see a solid left hook, I think I tagged him That's with. That's right. It was the left that first put him down. Let's solid hook, and he was really down. I get a big satisfaction out of this because critics say I can't hit. And uh, there you go. Okay, now stay right on it, Muhammad. When he got up, I knew he was dazed. I had to stay on him. Then I tagged him, I think, with a solid right hand after this. Boom, there you go, another hook. That's when you lifted up your arms, you knew you had him. Now watch this third one. That's another hook, another hook. Sell Joe Frazier to be cool, because he ain't no fool. <laughs> I've been to the boxing school. All right, there it was. We oh, may Yank get Durham. it again in slow Yank motion. Yank Durham down there agitating Joe Frazier. Yank Durham right. is down there. I know he's scared. Watch this in slow motion, uh, I'm gonna Muhammad. I'm going to say to Joe out there, stay in shape, Joe. Look like we're going to settle this whole heavyweight mess. I'd be in better shape when I meet Joe. I needed this workout. You think you'll be faster Joe, against Joe? Joe was a little too frightened to talk about me after this fight, but I'll talk about him. All right, now let's take a look at the second knockdown in slow motion, Muhammad. It'll be coming up in just a second. All right, you hold this mic. You hold this mic right here. Now you call that round while I talk to Joe Frazier on the telephone. I got Joe right here on Tell the Joe is a man, he's knocking out these light heavyweights. You tell Joe is a good heavyweight knockout here. Hello, Joe. Say hello to Salama Hassan out there in Detroit. Hello, good friend of mine. Wait a minute. Hello to Major Coxon out there in Philadelphia. What do you think of what Muhammad is saying on television? As we watch the third knockdown, he says that you're afraid of him, that he knocked out yeah. Bonavina and you couldn't. What do you say? Joe Frazier's on the telephone and Howard Cosell's agitating as usual. Well, the phone, of course, is not on the air, Muhammad, and Joe says he's more than ready for you. Anytime you fellas fight, he says he's going to go after you and put you away 
even though Bonavina couldn't. Tell him if he do, he's a good one. So, look like we don't have to talk no more. Hold on um, a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, Joe. I'm going to put Muhammad on. Now on the telephone, you repeat what Joe oh, says Joe to you. Frazier. How you doing, Joe? Tell him to come on to You're not fighting of me, are you? What's he saying, Muhammad? Pablo Cosell is agitating as usual. <laughs> I think you'd improve yourself as a professional fighter. I'd improve myself, so I'll get him a couple of days rest. And since we can't get a loan, we just gonna have to get it on. What is Joe saying? Our our viewers can't have oh, heard Joe. Uh, Joe said he's ready to get it on, and uh, if everybody can agree to the deals, then we will settle all this talk. We will find out once and for all who's the real champion of the whole world. No homemade champ, no ink pen champion, but the fighting champion. Okay. So they took my title once, gave it to Ernie Terrell, I took it back. They took it again, so it looked like I have to fight for the title three times without losing it. If I have to do that, I'm going to still keep it. Thank you. Okay, so long, Joe. I'm sorry you couldn't hear Joe Frazier. Don't go away. Now here's the knockout. Mohammed, last time the knockout on isolated camera. Call it, then we'll let you go. Well, here comes a left hook. I knew he was a little tired. I was a little tired. But mainly I was concentrating. This is where a good boxer comes in handy. He was the in toughest the he ever fought, wasn't he? Uh, up until now, I've been off so long and training hard. Ringo's right here. He's coming in. Hammer right, hammer right. I think I tagged him. Here comes Ringo, by the way. Ringo's coming over to congratulate you. Keep looking at the monitor. I like to say. Hello, Ringo. Good. Fight. I like to say to Ringo, Good he's a fight. nice fella. I Even as we the watch. I want to say the things he said about me and I said about him was only to build a fight because it is a dying sport. And I want to thank him as a gentleman. I'm sorry because I tell you, Chiki, you're a better champion. Oh, thank you. you know what he said? I like you. Just I talk. Tell you, just talk. I told Chiki because you are nervous. Just talk. Fight it, fight it. Fight it, fight it. Fight it. You champion, I understand what I said. Thank you. I, I hope you can know. understand right. what Ringo was I saying. Nice time. He you. said, I'm sorry I called you chicken. You are a great I champion. And, I want to say to and you can see you. the scene and now. I want to say he's my roughest fight today. Okay. You champion. That does it. I'm sorry. Joe Frazier, Oscar said I'm champion, so watch yourself. You watch don't have it, to, watch it. You don't Joe have Frazier. to apologize. Watch it. You, you win, Joe Frazier, because you better. You box him very well. Ringo is saying no, Ali will beat Frazier, but that's going to have to be proved in the ring. Because I spoke strong to Frazier. Thank you. You understand? Thank you. I love you, Oscar. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now, one last look at the isolated camera in the midst of this chaos in Bedlam. Mohammed. Mohammed, look down at that monitor. Call that. Oh, left hook, I think, here. Call that now. Bonavina's telling people I whooped Frazier because he's strong with Frazier. Bonavina said I whooped Joe Frazier because he's strong with Joe Frazier. And he is right. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. All right. We're in the midst of bedlam even as we watch the knockout again on isolated camera. You have seen the scene for yourselves. The crowd trying to pour up into this ring. Oscar going down there. This will be our final look at this knockout. Thank you. All right, Ringo you champion. Is, thank you. Watch this, Ringo. There you are, down. And that's Muhammad. Lift. That was the fight. second left down. Tafaska's a good fighter. I couldn't hit him with my left jab. Okay. And now we come to the end. There it is, the final left tuck. And that was the knockdown. I have one thing to say, and I gotta go. Okay. Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier. Okay. Joe Frazier. Chief Beatles, Joe Frazier. All right. Cash cry. Cash cry. Beat it, Joe Frazier. Cash cry. Beat it. He beat it, Frazier. Ringo, as you can see, is screaming at the fans that Ali will beat Frazier. That Shoot. remains for another day. Ringo, you fought a great fight. Too much. My congratulations to you, even though you lost. Yes. Cash now, cry. ladies and gentlemen. This is a goodbye from Madison Square Garden. On the ropes of the ring, at almost the very point where Muhammad Ali knocked out Oscar Ringo Bonavina in a little more than two minutes of the 15th and final round.
Next question of uh, Muhammad. I consider myself now better than ever. He's the best man that I have felt up until the day. He's hit me more times in the rain, and he was harder to hit. He's a good man. I like him. This is the champion. So he should never win here. Because I am strong. I too much strong. This puts me. I don't understand. But that, for I am strong. I am up because I hope never for that. All right? This is champion. But I hope never. This is color. The color of my country is nothing. All right? I understand. I think it was a good publicity. We sold out Madison Square Garden. We sold out every theater. And we worked together and we made a few dollars. <laughs>